How much momentum do you think that this boycott of the Oscars will attract? Um, I think, once again, I think that we should hear the real story about the voting process of the Oscars. Because I was, um, I was the president of NARIS, which is the, the board of the Grammys in Atlanta chapter. And what I learned when I became a president is that the people that actually sit on the floor in the voting committee of Grammys and what's seen on the actual show, um, nobody on the floor when I first got in there was even of my age. Nobody on the floor was from my era. Nobody on the floor was even a rap, like, even looked like they listened to rap music, right? Um, and the people brought me in and they said, Jermaine, you see these people right here? These are the people that actually determine what happens on the show. And these are the people that determine what you see, what what's seen and what awards are not seen. And that day, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. Now, I'm not, it's, not, it's no need for me to even complain anymore because none of my peers that's out here complaining want to take the time out of their life to come and be a part of this. And I, I feel like it's probably the same situation. I think, like, yeah, Spike Lee, he should boycott it. But then he should also um, go a little step further to find out how can he become a person on the board and 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 even get further inside so that he can justify what's actually happening. Um, like I said, with the Grammys, Jimmy Jam became um, like the voice and the president of Neris. And now what happened, you know, now Run DMC is getting Lifetime Achievement Award at the Grammy Awards this year. And that will be an award that we see on TV. And I believe that that's all... Um, Jimmy Jam, I believe that that's you know that and that and that once again, he's taken that and become like his primary job, and I think that you know Jada Pinkett or whoever else they got to one of them have to get on the board. I, I guarantee you they're not on the board. I guarantee you not one of them is on. They're the board. not, and then what they said is it's basically made up of like over sixty percent of white males that were born in like the nineteen fifties. Yeah. So there you go. And that's what it is. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. So you, you, I understand them boycotting, and they should boycott. They should boycott to start the movement, but they should also, one of them should stand up and say, I want to be on the board. And that's where the problem should really, really go crazy if they don't allow one of them to get on the board. Would you join the boycott? No. I wouldn't go on the Oscars anyway. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, you know, I just think, I, I, I think, I don't go to award shows unless I'm winning. So, okay. yeah, mm. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that that totally sums it up. Unless you're winning, don't attend. Yeah.